I did an almost routine apology for being too late. Uh, and uh, with myself losing my breath, which is a sign that I'm not in best shape and not ready for the Olympics in Atlanta. I have a great honor and rare opportunity for one diplomat to introduce a new chief of the Bosnian diplomacy, new foreign minister of the Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina, the man whom you, all of you, know very well. First, the ultimatum of NATO and UMPRFOR regarding the heavy weapons within the Sarajevo exclusion zone, and second, NATO and UMPRFOR's failure to enforce this commitment have left us more vulnerable and at a tremendous disadvantage to the besieging Serbian forces. I think my reaction would be the same as uh, the members of the Council, in particular the members of the contact group, which is that it doesn't seem to reflect the reality of the discussions uh, in The Hague within NATO over the last week, and uh, frankly it doesn't reflect the reality on the ground. Uh, we certainly are prepared to support a peacemaking effort in Bosnia, and, and we've always desired it. Uh, the, but the Secretary General seems to be only giving uh, that option a backhanded uh, level of support. Therefore, what he's leaving us with is uh, what amounts to a total marginalization of the unperformed mission uh, to that of uh, delivering humanitarian assistance. Effectively, unperformed soldiers will become truck drivers and distributors of food. The, I think Yasna in the back of my assistant has some information for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.